Okay, in this video we're going to factor by grouping, which is very similar to what we've just done, only one extra step. We'll do these six examples, well seven because there's two at the beginning. So let's begin. So if you had three apples plus three bananas, plus five apples plus five bananas, you would have definitely, I hope you know by now, eight apples and eight bananas, right? And they're not like terms, and so it doesn't make 16 anything, it's just you're done, right? Because they're not like terms. Now, that's the answer. But uh, you can't really do that when you have something like this, x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20, but what you so what you can do for both of these is a thing called factoring by grouping and the only extra step we need to know is to group these two terms and then group these two terms and then continue so what I mean is just look at the first two terms and pull out a greatest common factor what's the greatest common factor of 3a plus 3b so look at the this group okay and you pull out a 3 right so it's 3 times a plus B right and now look at this group and pull out a greatest common factor what's the greatest common factor of 5a plus 5b 5 right so pl pull out a positive 5 plus 5 times a plus B right 5a plus 5b see what I mean so now you have 3 times a plus B plus 5 times a plus B and now we're going to pull out the greatest common factor which is a plus B so we pull that guy out and it's a plus b times 3 plus 5 and that's factoring by grouping and you're done that's all you gotta do right now of course that's the same thing as you know 8 you know times because you can add them and it makes a, 8 times a plus b or 8a plus 8b same thing right but um, that's a very simple example I just wanted to show you a simple example to begin with and then we'll get into the theoretical stuff that doesn't make any sense right so x squared plus 4x plus 5x plus 20 but remember I mean it's the same thing it's just numbers and letters it's not a big deal so factoring by grouping is you factor the first two terms and then you factor the other two terms and then you keep going so we only have one extra step to make in this video so factor the first two terms what do you get write it down the greatest common factor is x right so pull x out and what do you get x times x times x plus 4 right x is the greatest common factor x times x is x squared x times plus 4 gives 4x right now look at the next group 5x plus 20 and pull out a greatest common factor what's the greatest common factor there 5 right pull out a 5 5 times what <coughs> 5 times x gives 5x and 5 times what gives 20? 5 times 4. And remember to bring this plus sign down here. That sign always carries down. And okay, that's the trick. That's the trick. And now we do what we did in the previous examples, which is we have a greatest common factor of both of these terms, which is x plus 4. And we pull that out. Does that make sense? So pull out the x plus 4. And now it's x plus 4 times x plus 5 and that's the answer x plus 4 times x plus 5 and if you were to uh, check this uh, using the FOIL method or uh, multiple the double distributive property like if you were to check this um, it would be x times x is x squared x times 5 is 5x 4 times x 4x, 4 times 5, 20, and that's the same as the top, x squared plus 4x plus 5x, same thing, 5x and 4x plus 20, right? Same thing, right? So, that's that, let's have a look at examples 2 and 3 now. Factoring by grouping. So, example 2, 2z cubed plus 6z squared plus z plus 3, how would you do that one? Well, you simply factor these two terms, then factor these two terms. So start with the first two terms and pull out a greatest common factor. What do you get?
So you can pull a 2 out from each term anyway. And you can pull a z out, but can you also pull out a z squared maybe? Right? So can't you pull out 2z squared from both terms? 2z squared times z would be 2z cubed, right? 2z squared times what gives this? What do we need here? Plus just the number 3, right? Because 2z squared times 3 is 6z squared. Now we bring this plus sign down like that and what can, how do we factor z plus 3? Factorize z plus 3. It can be done. How can it be done? What is the only common factor of two numbers that don't seem to have a common factor? I mean, they don't really have a common factor, but, but it, in, a, in a way everything does because everything can be multiplied by, by 1. Does that make sense? You can pull a 1 out. This is like 1z plus 3. Pull a 1 out from each term. So that would be 1 times what? 1 times z plus 3, right? Now, the reason we had to do that is because we want to make it look like all the other problems where we have a greatest common, a common factor over here and a common factor over here. So that we can then pull that out and we're left with a number. Do you see what I mean? So it's a little bit annoying, but it, it kind of has to be done so we can finish the problem. So now our common factor of each of these terms is z plus 3. So z plus 3 times 2z squared plus 1, right? And that's the answer. So press pause and see if you can do this one by yourself. 12x cubed minus 16x squared plus 3x minus 4. Press pause and do this one yourself and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to do it now. So the first step is to group them. Just look at this. This is one group, that's another group. And they're separated by this plus sign. And we're just going to factor these two first and afterwards we'll factor these two. So start with these two, factorize them, what did you get? Press pause and do it now if you haven't got it yet. What goes in, what's the greatest common factor of 12 and 16? 2, but also 4, right? 4 goes into both. And how about x cubed and x squared? What's the greatest common factor of x cubed and x squared? What's the biggest thing that goes into both? x squared, right? Now, 4 times what gives 12? 4 times 3. And x squared times what gives x cubed? x squared times what gives x cubed? Times x, right? And 4 times what gives negative 16? 4 times negative 4, right? And then, of course, oh, don't forget your x squared. My mistake, my mistake, my mistake. Got to have an x squared there, right? Boop, 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 boop. Now make it even worse. Anyway, 4 x no no not not true not true don't need an x there silly me it's just four isn't it so three x minus four you knew that and i didn't how about that and then we have a plus sign that comes down and can you factorize three x minus four what's the greatest common factor of three x minus four well there is no common factor right apart from the number one, right? Because one can be can go into anything, let's say, right? One times three x gives three x and one times negative four gives negative four. And we need to write the one down there just so the next step works out for us. Because we're trying to now pull out a common factor from each term and sure enough it's like magic in all these problems in your math book that these two factors are the same. Three x minus four. And that can be pulled out and you're left with 3x minus 4 times 4x squared would give that and then times plus 1 would give that. Okay. Now I wonder can you try this one? Press pause and do this one by yourself example 4. Okay. And you might come across a little difficulty but that's okay 
Uh, it's only when you try to do it yourself and you get stuck, that's how you learn. So try this yourself. If you figure it out, that's great. If not, don't worry about it because I'll show you how to do it anyway. So you'll learn either way. But it's good to have to come upon the problem on your own first, right? So please press pause and try it. I'm going to try it now. So I hope you've pressed pause and tried this example before. I'm going to try it now. Okay, here I go. So we got to factorize the first two terms, for the first this group first. And what goes into 2 and 4? You can pull a 2 out. What goes into x cubed and x squared? You can pull an x squared out. 2x squared times x would give 2x cubed. And then 2 times negative 2 would be negative 4. And of course, 2x squared times negative 4 would be negative 4x squared, right? So we've got the first part. And now we have a negative 7x plus 14. So if you're factoring this one, um, what did you do for this one? How did you factor these, these two terms? Right? So you might think, well, I'll pull out a 7, right? Now if you pull out a 7, in fact, I'll, do, I'll just do it here. I'll just do it just so you can see the difference, right? Well, okay, if I pull a 7 out, I get 7 times negative x, don't I? <coughs> Plus 2, right? But there's a problem there. What's the problem? We don't have the same er, uh, factor in parentheses here, because I actually pull out a positive 7, right? And we don't have the same term in parentheses. We need the same term in parentheses so we can do our factor by grouping trick and then pull out the x minus 2. So what I suggest to you is whatever sign is here in the middle, bring that down. In other words, don't pull out a positive 7, pull out a negative 7. And now see what you get. If you pull a negative 7 out, what will you get this time? You'll get negative 7 times x, which would be negative 7x. A negative 7 times what gives positive 14? Negative 7 times what gives positive 14? Negative 7 times negative 2, right? And so now we have it because x minus 2 appears here and x minus 2 also appears here. So we can pull out that common factor from both terms. And we have x minus 2 times 2x squared minus 7, right? So press pause, do this one all by yourself, and it'll be very similar to this one. 10p cubed minus 10p squared minus p plus 1. Press pause and do it, and then I'll do it. Okay, I hope you press pause and tried it. I'm going to try it now. Remember the pause button is in the bottom left of the screen. Okay, I'm going to try it now. So you've got to factor these two terms, then these two terms. So the two terms on the left, 10p cubed minus 10p squared, what can we pull out of there? Well, we can pull a 10 out from each term, and what else? What goes into p cubed and p squared? p squared goes into both of those, right? Now, 10p squared times what gives this? 10p squared times p, right? And 10p squared times what gives this? times a negative something probably, negative what? 10p squared times negative 1, right? Now we have a minus p plus 1, and I'll just show you really quickly. You could say, well, there is no common factor apart from 1. And so I can say 1 times negative p plus 1, or in other words, positive 1 times negative p plus 1. But the problem, once again, is this factor is not the same as this factor. Because this is a positive p, that's a negative p. They're not the same. So we have to try and make them the same. So the trick is always pull down the middle side. And instead of pulling out a positive 1, I'm going to pull out a negative 1. Now, if I pull a negative 1 out, what do I get? Negative 1 times. Negative 1 times positive p, and negative 1 times what gives positive 1? 
Negative 1 times what gives positive 1? Negative 1 times negative 1, right? So this time we do have p minus 1 here and p minus 1 here. We do have the same term and then, or the same factor rather, and then we can pull this factor out from each term, right? So we can take the p minus 1, pull it out from each term. We have p minus 1 times 10p squared minus 1. And that's the answer, okay? So last one I'd like you to do is please do example 6 all by yourself. Uh, nice and neatly and get the answer. So press pause, do example 6 by yourself and then I'll um, do it just to make sure you got the right answer. Okay, I hope you've tried it. I'm going to do it now. So we got to factor these two terms and these two terms. From these two terms we can pull out the first two terms. We can pull out an x squared and we get x squared times um, x plus 9 and from these two terms we bring down the negative and we can pull out a negative 3 from both terms and we get negative 3 times x plus 9 again and now from these two terms we have a common factor of x plus 9 and then we pull, pull that guy out x plus 9 times x squared minus 3 and that's the answer.